Hello everyone. Well, I've had a long, long, hard day making videos for YouTube for the enjoyment of you folks. And the light is fading, but this box was delivered earlier and I don't have the willpower to wait until tomorrow morning to video the unboxing. So here I am now, on my knees, ready with my scissors to cut into this unfortunately rather dented box. There is a little peek here of what's inside. You know what's inside from the title. It is, yes, a Hoover Telios. Now, the picture, the illustration of this was not the machine I'm hoping to get. The model number was listed so I looked it up on the internet and found out what the model should be. And um, also I checked that I had a brochure and I did have an old brochure with this model in. And if it is what I'm hoping it's going to be, because it was described as being black, the picture was blue on the listing, there should be a Hoover Telios Pets, which judging by the brochure I looked at, was the top of the line Hoover Telios. So it's a very old box here, considerable <laughs> considerable amount of dust on it, a lot of shelf wear. The model matches and it looks yeah, looks like it might have had some water. Let's hope it's okay inside. It is a Telios T5636-7 it is black and says here made in the China? No? Republic of China? Made in Portugal? No. This one, if it's in one piece, was made in the UK. Canberra slang to be precise, up in Scotland. They could have rubbed a a cloth over it, but anyway, let's hope. I'm not bothered about the box so much, it's what's inside the box. Very, very old packaging. No, no spiders this time. Here's the instruction book, Hoover Telios Pets, and it also covers the Lifetime model, which was a range of cleaners Hoover made that had a Lifetime dust bag. It was basically a fabric dust bag that you could reuse and wash if you had to. So it all looks very, very faded. It's got 2001 on the instruction book, so perhaps this dates from 2001. We'll see what the serial number says. I never know how to date these things. I'm sure some kind person will tell me and it uh, hopefully will be listed underneath. Guarantee, well obviously there's no guarantee with this. Not after, well I will be with the retailer I expect. Just reaching into there, see if there's anything there isn't. There's the machine. It is a Pets and it's just the one that I thought it would be, so I'm pleased. Here's the extension wand, quite heavy really by today's standards, just a friction fit, telescopic, I think the other Telios I've got, I'm not sure, I think it's got two chrome metal extension tubes, not telescopic like this one, which way does it go, that's it, so there we are, telescopic tube with the little bracket already on it for the uh, tube parking, that's okay, All right? fingers crossed everything else will be. Now this is the Turbo Vario nozzle, it's a very good turbo brush this. I had this uh, turbo brush on a Hoover Discovery I used to own, I sold it, I regret selling it but there you go, not selling this one, it's a separate little instruction book for that. Yes, it's exactly the same as the one I got with the Discovery, apart from it's a different fitting here. 
little bit of dust. Dust, or it could be an insect infestation, I'm not sure. Anyway, quite a good little efficient nozzle as far as I remember, although these brushes seem softer than the ones on the Discovery, could be wrong. It's got an adjustable sole plate, you see, look. So you can angle the nozzle up and down, but the sole plate stays flat. And there is some sort of, yeah, I've forgotten how this works. There's some sort of an air control here. I'm not sure which you have it closed or open for. It is supposed to adjust, if it works properly, it's supposed to adjust automatically this head. So when you're on carpets, it goes at high speed. And when you go onto a hard floor, somehow it knows you're on a hard floor because probably there's no resistance or less resistance then, in theory, it should go a bit slower so you know, it's not scattering dirt. That's how it should work. And I believe that's the only nozzle. You don't get a separate... No, I think that is it, because that is carpets and hard floors. You do not get a separate hard floor nozzle. So there's that. Here we have the hose. After all these years, it's a little bit distorted, but I'm sure it will eventually unkink itself. That's the end. That's the hand grip. Little trigger relief valve there. And it looks looks a reasonable length. Right, I think it's a cleaner. For some reason the dusting brush is loose. I hope it's not scratched the body of the cleaner while it's been in storage. It's very common that the polystyrene's broken. I will lift it out gently. Poor thing, it's been kept in its box for a lot longer than it expected to be, I'm sure. This is pretty good dusting brush, actually. Similar shape to the ones you get now. Some of the ones you get now, I think. I think it's similar to the ones you now you get. Yes, it is similar to the ones you still get, like on the Pure Power. But unlike the Pure Power, these are relatively soft brushes. They're not like scrubbing brushes. So that's the dust, uh, dusting tool, which should fit inside the machine. Whether that's a, an extra one that's just folded in the box, I don't know. We'll have to see when we open the flap, which is slightly open already, so it's probably fallen out. Got Hoover service plan in the box, and that's it. So it looks like it might have been in some damp, damp area, but hopefully it looks all right to me. Yes, it's fine. I love this nozzle. This is one of my favourite, apart from the sort of the original Hoover nozzles, the pip fitting ones that had those little rubber teeth at the back. I used to love those ones. Must have used them quite a lot because those rubber teeth used to wear out as you go back and forth. I love that tool. It's very good on the stairs, very good on your upholstery. Double lint pickers. And to stop it from sticking to the surface, either side you've got two holes, but they also help to clean up to the edge. So that's your purpose nozzle. That fits in there. You've got your crevice tool little bit short but it has to be to fit inside and finally the dusting brush that somehow got free let's hope it will clip in place yeah so there we go that's the three onboard tools and hopefully this is going to close now it's, it's, uh, it says ABS now the plastic, the arrow is pointing to 97, 11th month 97, but that's just when this part was made. Oh, that's fine, it fits nicely there. I'm really pleased with this. You've got, can you see, sorry about the light. I've got a bit of light in there, haven't I, reflecting. Might be better if I turn that light off, actually. Let's see if that's an in improvement if I turn the light off. Can you still see it? I think you just about can, can you? Can you? Can you? Yes. There we go. 
that's still reflected anyway, but there's the lovely Hoover logo. You know, I think I might turn the light back on. Who knows? Let's see. <laughs> Sorry about this, folks. Not very professional, is it? But <sighs> I have been doing an awful lot of videos. As you will be seeing in the coming weeks and months. Been doing a great load of them. So there we go. That's the Hoover Telios Pets Hypoallergenic. Um, Probably need to polish up. There's some markings on here, but I'm not overly concerned. I think a bit of polish will remove that. Let's have a look inside. Oh, don't fail me now. Oh, there we go. So, it's got a HEPA type filter. I don't know if Hoover actually call it HEPA filter. I'll have to check on the box if it says anything. This could predate HEPA. Just says new filtration plus power. It says sealed suction system, six meter cord. It's got a picture of a woman shushing, well, a face. I don't know if it's a woman, so it's supposed to be quiet. Doesn't say HEPA, but that is a HEPA style pleated filter. That goes before the motor, which is located just in here. So we'll slide that back. Quite a nice tight fit. Ooh, tight fit. The line sleeps tonight. Here we go, H30 Super Pure Filt Dust Bag. And there's the little doodah when you remove the bag. It's closed it. Don't want that closing now though. Once it's closed, it's hard to get it open again. There we are. Let's pull that bit. There, that's it. That's it. Not a huge bag, but it's a compact vacuum. Don't know where the bag's made. It's a genuine Hoover part. It says, da, 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 Pure Filt is an innovative, highly efficient three layer filter medium. The additional microfiber layer ensures maximum filtration of germs and allergenic substances. Furthermore, Pure Filt provides optimal protection against mold penetration thanks to its excellent properties in separating even the finest particles. Pure Filt ensures the effective protection of the subsequent filter systems thus clearly extending their service life. All that, and it's just a dust bag. It's amazing. Right, which way does it go in? That way, I think. There we are. It's even a little cut out there. there for you. It's like a knuckle duster, look. Not that I know what a knuckle duster is, but uh, I don't think I get very far You're trying to beat up a load of blokes with that on me knuckles. Take that, bitch! Oh, sorry about that, it's a bit of a swear word. A bitch is a female dog, that's what I meant. And I wouldn't be hitting a, a, a female dog or a lady, actually. There. Also, it's got a little doobie on it to stop you closing the bag door if you haven't put the thing in properly, the bag in properly, but it looks like it's in. So, I can close the door now, carefully. There we are. On the back of the machine, You've got your traditional piston bag full indicator. Electronic speed control, something, something they did away with on the later Telios. You can get Telios cleaners now, but they're nothing like this. They're made in China. But they did produce some Telios machines of this, this body shape that were Chinese made. And they, they did away with the electronic speed control. This is really the top of the range model. But by today's standards, it's pretty basic. Let's have a look at the post motor filter. So there we have the post motor. I don't know if that's a, a carbon. Mmm, gosh, it smells. Phew, crikey, that stinks. That could be a carbon filter and there's a microfilter on top. Oh god, which way did it go? That way. I believe. Yes, yeah, so I'll put it in. Yeah, it went that way, definitely. And then that goes back on. Here, this little slot, that's where you'd park your tube. 
I've never liked that design, it always seems a bit weak. If I knocked into that, probably end up snapping it off. I never really used that on the other Telios I've got. You've got your flex. No, there's nothing, no rubber coating on the wheels. You've got your flex. It's that thin type of flex that Hoover used quite a bit. So it's a thinner flex, which means they can get a bit more on the wheel, but still, it's only six metres. That's pretty short now, six metres. Although for a cylinder vacuum, you do have the extra length of the hose, so it's not so bad. Let's try it, shall we? Hold the plug. Oof, cracky. It's a bit previous. There we go. So that's okay. And the final thing we can look at is underneath. So we've got a little blank blanking piece here. We never, unfortunately, in the UK, and I've never seen one, you know, in, in, from on the internet from Europe. But that is shaped like a power takeoff socket. One of these with a power head would have been fantastic. But even back then, they stopped doing power heads for Hoover cleaners. But that looks like it is shaped for power socket. Here is the other parking bracket. Again, it, it slopes rather when you put, when you park it. You got your swivel wheel, pretty standard. With two big wheels at the back. Right then, any of you out there can date this for me. Uh, can you quite see what it says? I will read it out for you. It says Hoover model. Done all that. Serial number three seven six five two nine three zero. 01230632 PCWE 1300 1500 watts PMAX 1700 watts Type VSO2 BAB approved CE mark made in UK Ah, oh, do you th I'm not sure if I'll ever see that again in my lifetime A Hoover cleaner newly produced that says made in the UK but you never know you never know, do you? China is becoming more and more expensive. Production that has long gone from our shores could come back. But the quality won't. I mean, this isn't quality. Although, you know, it's made in the UK. It doesn't have the same feel of, uh, of quality as, say, a Ciba, especially Ciba or a Miele. But I'd rather have this than a Chinese made Hoover cleaner. Although, yes, I've bought a few Chinese made Hoover cleaners of late and they're not too bad. But I'd rather have this made in the UK or Scotland. In goes the hose. Lovely fishing. The hose does swivel, it turns like that. It's a handsome looking device. The other Telios I've got, I did a review of it ages ago, is a Moonstone Metallic. If that had been a nice metallic finish, that would have made, made it look even more swish. But it looks quite nice. I think you may agree, if you like vacuums, you might think that's quite a little nice looking vac. So there we have it with its Turbo Vario nozzle. Hoover Telios PET 1700 Silent Power Hypoallergenic S-Class Filtration. There's even a number here for the Hoover helpline, just printed here. 0705 400 600, open seven days a week. That number's probably changed if it exists at all. I think I'll just turn this on briefly. This is not one I'm going to actually demonstrate for you. I'm not going to use it. I do have a Telios I can use, so I know what they like to use. I just want to keep this as nature intended, completely unused and virginal. So I'll pull out the plug, plug it in, and fingers crossed it will work. I can't see why it won't. The box was battered, but the product inside is fine. All right then says silent power. Let's, let's hear how silent it really is. Not very silent. If past experiences are anything to go by, here's the on-off switch.
Far from silent, but not unpleasant, and of course it's lacking that high-pitched scream that we so... Oh, I've got that whiff again. <laughs> why? I don't know why they smell like this. This is the same smell I got from the Panasonic Icon. That sort of manure smell. It's bizarre. I'll have to ask the seller, were these stored in a cow shed? I, I wouldn't be surprised, to be honest. Right, let's have a look at the Turbo Vario nozzle spinning as one final shot. <laughs> now, that started off very high-pitched screaming, didn't it? And then it suddenly kicked down a gear, so I think that has actually sensed, because there's no resistance, it must have thought it was on the floor, so it has reduced speed. There is um, something happens in here, it's hard to tell, you can partly see the turbine. I know there's something that switches over when it does detect something, but I'm not sure what happens. Let's just try it once more. So again, it did start off on a higher speed, and obviously because it didn't didn't feel any carpet underneath it, it, it kicked down. But if I was to use it on the carpet, it should stay on the high speed for carpets. But it's quite a good nozzle, that. You can still buy these, I believe, on some spares websites to fit various different Hoover cleaners. It's actually got a US patent number on it, so I wonder if our American friends recognise this. Did you ever get this shape nozzle on any of your Hoover cleaners? But I know power heads are more popular, or more common anyway, in America than these air-powered nozzles. Unfortunately, power-driven heads are sadly lacking on the UK market. Not many manufacturers produce them, which is a shame. We might be seeing some more, though, as the new EC law comes into effect. I know Vax have got a new one coming out. I think it's called the Air Silence, and that has a totally new redesigned power head. Like the, I like the look of that. So with any luck, Mila might introduce the power heads again. I think hopefully SIBO will keep the power heads that they already do. And who knows, perhaps Hoover might produce something with an electrically driven power head. Well, that's it. That's my Hoover Telios Pets unboxed. I'm going to give it a polish and then wave it goodbye, pack it back in the box and keep it safe and scratch free. If you'd like this video and you'd like to subscribe, please do, and you'll be updated every time I upload something new. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.